This presentation provides an overview of the Victorian Auditor-General's report, Managing the Environmental Impacts of Domestic Wastewater. Domestic wastewater is derived from household water use. It contains pathogens harmful to human health and contaminants that are harmful to the environment if not treated safely. Wastewater can be safely treated on site, typically through an on-site system and drainage fields if a property is large enough, has the right soil conditions and is not too steep. If one or more of these is not met, wastewater should be discharged to sewer. Owners must regularly maintain their on-site systems to ensure the continued safe treatment of wastewater. This audit examined whether the risks posed by domestic wastewater are being effectively managed to prevent environmental and health impacts. We looked at the regulatory system, an oversight provided by the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning, DELP, and the Environmental Protection Authority, EPA. The management of unsewered metropolitan properties and the risks posed by these by Yarra Rangers Council, YRC, and Mornington Peninsula Shire Council, MPSC. The roles of South East Water, SEW, and Yarra Valley Water, YVW, in servicing high-risk, unsewered, metropolitan townships. The audit found the environmental and public health risks from poorly performing on-site systems are not being adequately managed. This is due to poor leadership and limited collaboration between DELP and EPA, audited councils not effectively managing the ongoing risks posed by poorly performing on-site systems, and property owners being slow to connect to sewer provided by the water authorities. Overall, a lack of leadership, oversight and collaboration between EPA and DELP means there is limited drive and accountability to ensure councils and property owners comply with their legislated roles and responsibilities. There are regulatory issues. For example, permits for on-site systems are issued in perpetuity. This means councils cannot prevent property owners from allowing old systems to discharge sewage off-site. Another example is that no entity can effectively enforce a property owner to maintain their system or connect to sewer if they can't safely treat wastewater on site. The approval processes are lengthy and unwarranted, and there is a lack of clarity around governance responsibilities for alternative approaches to sewer, such as on-site systems maintained by water authorities instead of property owners. Councils manage the process for approving new on-site systems well but they aren't doing enough to check that new and existing systems continue to comply with permit and policy requirements. Also, because of poor data, there are large gaps in their understanding of the number of on-site systems in their area and how many are not functioning well. This means councils aren't well placed to understand how great a risk poorly managed on-site systems are to their municipality. MPSC has improved its compliance and inspection programs, but neither council's programs are currently adequate. Since 2005-06, SEW and YVW have met their targets to provide sewer to high-risk unsewered townships. However, household connection rates to sewer need to improve to fully realise the environmental and health benefits of sewering townships. While water authorities and councils have implemented a range of incentives to encourage households to connect, further work is needed to address perceived customer barriers around cost and educate property owners around the environmental and public health benefits of connection. Our 2006 audit, Protecting Our Communities from Failing Septic Tanks, made 16 recommendations. Of these, 11 have not been addressed, and 3 were only partially addressed. This is mainly due to poor collaboration and leadership by EPA and DELP. As a result, issues previously identified with the regulatory framework and its tools to manage risks from domestic wastewater remain unaddressed. This audit made 15 recommendations. All recommendations have been accepted by the audited agencies. For further information, please see the full report of this audit on our website, www.audit.vic.gov.au.